I'm Richard Randall, and welcome to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. And this is the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate with Colorado's real estate authority, that's Barb Schlinker. Barb Schlinker is a retired Navy veteran. Barb is an author. Barb Schlinker is a pilot. And Barb and her team enjoy all that Colorado and the Front Range have to offer. Barb, always great to be talking with you. Now, we air your real estate voice, the show, every Saturday. And if you can't listen to the entire show, it's always available. You can find it by going to barbhasthebuyers.com or just search Barb on most of the popular plot pod. I always do that. Just search Barb on most of the popular podcast platforms like iHeartRadio. Every week, your real estate voice covers great information about the housing market and one of your largest assets, your home. Barb, what are we going to be talking about today? Well, I'm sure that most homeowners know that there is a property tax surge that they're going to have to pay when taxes start getting collected next year. Um, and we're going to talk about what you can do about it, how you can actually challenge your property tax assessment. We actually made the news on this topic. CBS News reported that property tax values went up from 30 to 60 percent in the state of Colorado. So people are very interested in this topic, and I'm going to give you some tips on what you can do about it and how to fix it. And then the second topic is going to be about getting your house ready for sale, in particular, what to fix and what not to fix when getting your home ready for sale. And then we're going to go on and talk about how to receive the highest price when you sell your home. And last but not least, pricing your home in order to get top dollar. And then, of course, my favorite part is talking about all of our hot new listings. Richard? Barb, many people are very upset at the sudden surge in their property taxes on their homes. Many have seen their property taxes rise by as much as 50% in just the last two years. What can owners do about this? Well, Richard, um, a lot of people don't know that the property tax valuation by state law is actually supposed to be based on the market value. It's actually two years behind the current market. They say 18 months, but if you actually look at all the notices that went out, they're looking for property values dated from January 1, 2021 to June 2022. Now, typically in the past, we have seen property tax values rise relatively slowly, with the exception of brand new construction. Of course, it's going to have to be based on its value new, but going subsequent to that, for the most part, property taxes have actually been stable. But the state of Colorado made CBS News about this huge increase. And what they said, and I quote, County assessors urged homeowners to take a careful look at the assessment and see if their homes would have sold at that value last summer when the assessments were made. And if not, there is a process to appeal. Well, that's true. And the question is, at what time in that 18 month period did the county assessor determine what the values were? Because there's a huge range. If you just go back four years, the average property value has gone up almost 40%. During this period that they're talking about from January 1, 2021 to June of 2022, Property values went up anywhere from 19 to 25%, depending on where you are. And here's the dilemma for most homeowners. It's very, very hard for the average person that doesn't have access to multiple listing service data or sales that took place previously to actually find that data. And what if they don't have a computer? What do they do? We got our beautiful senior citizens that are faced with, you know, higher bills when maybe we could challenge them. So um, first of all, the county does want to see if you're going to challenge your property tax values. They're looking for values in that time frame, January 1, 2021 to June of 2022. 
So I did some research, Richard. I actually looked at what home values did in both the Pikes Peak region and the Denver metro region. What did the prices do? And I just looked at average prices just to give you an idea. So in the Pikes Peak region, prices in that period went up $100,000 from 430 to 530. In the Denver metro area, prices during that period went up almost $200,000. So if you're having to pay property taxes from the last time they assessed property values and the property value assessment went up $200,000, it could mean that you're having to pay almost double. I've had some clients tell me their property taxes doubled overnight. And for some people, that could be very uncomfortable and very unaffordable. Richard? Barb, we're discussing a huge surge in these property taxes. People could always get in touch with you at 719-301-3900, or Barb has the buyers. And remember, folks, that a lot of people in real estate, they've, they've only sold three homes per year or something like that. Barb and her team, more than 100 per year. So, Barb, when it comes to these property taxes, what can a homeowner do to challenge this? How, how do they go about it? Well, Richard, um, we are actually offering a very special thing that we're going to uh, for the first uh, group of people that reach out to us. Now, time is running short because in the notice that I got in the mail, the assessor said the due date to challenge this property tax value is June 8th. That is right around the corner. That is only two weeks away. So what does that mean? What, what you'd have to do, you could either email it fax, snail mail, three similar sales during that period in order to challenge your value in hopes of getting the value down. So my name is Barb Schlenker. I'm with Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty Colorado. I've been here in the real estate business for 27 years. Man, time flies. Um, and I'm the host of Your Real Estate Voice. And what we're talking about right now is handling these um, challenges to the property values. So I'd love to help you with that. And we'll go into detail after the break about how I can help you with the property values. But if you are planning to make a move in the next three to six months, and you'd like to know right now what your home will sell for, how much you'll put in your pocket when it sells, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You've got free services that you offer. People need to know that you're only a phone call away, 719-301-3900, or just go to barbhasthebuyers.com. They can reach you either way. Tell us a little bit more about the, the values, the market values, because you're looking at things up and down the front range. Yes, for sure. And it's it's very interesting. A lot of people don't know that they're the little multiple listing services, I call them clubs, there's actually about 1,500 of them all over the country. They all use different software. And of course, the software does not talk to each other. But I am a member of all the three main ones uh, all along the front range. So I can go into those databases and I can help you find three similar sales to perhaps support a lower valuation for the purposes of property taxes. And they gave us a wide range. They gave us from January 1, 2021 to June of 2022. But when you figure out, when you figure out what these similar sales are, uh, I don't know what the assessor uses, but I know for me, I went to uh, appraiser school back uh, a number of years ago. I actually passed the course, but I decided I really didn't want to take the test and become an appraiser because I just honestly didn't like the work. I thought it was boring <laughs> to do a 40 page document on one house. It's an awful lot of detail and you, you have to be wired to do that level of detail. But what we do day in and day out is meet with people that are thinking of selling their home. And they typically ask us, what do we think a buyer would reasonably pay for their home in this market? So we go over tips on what to do, what not to do to get their house ready for sale. We give them a really good idea what their home will sell for and all their closing costs so they know exactly how much 
they're going to put in their pocket when it sells. So we do that service all the time, hundreds of times a year, year in, year out. So it is basically an opinion of value. Okay. The ultimate value is what the buyer is going to pay. But when we're talking about a property tax value, it's a different deal. By state law, it has to be behind the current market value. So we have to compare apples to apples. That means if you're in a ranch style home with a basement, we have to compare it to another ranch style home with a basement. If you're in a two story, same thing. If you're in a townhome, you have to compare apples to apples. So if you are interested in getting some similar sales and to find out how you could challenge your what you think is a high property valuation, I've actually prepared a special website just for my listeners. The name of the website is www.gettaxdown.com. Or if you're not using the internet, that's fine. Give us a call at 719-301-3900. Give me as much detail as you possibly can about your home. And I also would like to know what the assessor said their opinion of value is. All I hope to get is some you know, five-star reviews on my Google business profile in order to help my business. It's a free service and I'll get to as many as I can before this challenge deadline ends on June 8th. And again, if you'd like to challenge your property taxes, go to gettaxdown.com or call us at 719-301-3900. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice, and that's Barb Schlinker. She is your real estate voice, whether it's selling, whether it's buying, or whether it is uh, taxes and trying to make sure that you can get your taxes down, your home sold, guaranteed realty. It's the name and the promise. And if you're thinking of making a move, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Look, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to be talking about what to fix and what not to fix when you're selling your home. You want to stay tuned for that. 